we have that kind of banter back and forth, which I think is, is great because I think God is really funny. The Holy Spirit is a person. Um, it's the third person of the Trinity and you can have a relationship with God and so have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit does a lot of things. The Holy Spirit goes from being a mighty rushing wind to fire. The fire divides itself and falls on 120 people in the room. That's what I'm trying to depict now. When I finished my last body of work, which was titled Observed and Recorded Permutation of the Holy Spirit, which was on the day of Pentecost, so the, the wind came in and entered the room in Jerusalem where all the disciples and the apostles were. So that was like the first permutation of what happens with the Holy Spirit. And then the second permutation happens seconds later. I have spent a lot of time in the morning and the evenings, like with reading books about God, about Jesus, about the Holy Spirit to prepare for the work. So I spend a lot of time in the morning reading before work and then I come home and go to bed. And so that consistency really has like has settled me in a way that that now I need it. I think I'm I'm, I'm fascinated with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the part of God and they're all one. So like God is all one and yet three distinct parts. Um, so I have, I feel like I've been called to depict the Holy Spirit. I love everything that's new. I'm kind of a new junkie. <laughs> Anything that's new and evolving and changing, um, I think really inspires me. To get myself to that new place, I force myself to look at hundreds of different sculpture magazines. So then I made photocopies of everything and wanted to see them all at once uh, to make something that was a little more sculptural, but not a sculpture. I still don't know if what I'm making is good. I just know that it says more of what I want it to say. My goal is to take biblical works, um, big biblical text, and try and make an image that's new that you would never recognize it as religious, but it is. And it's like strictly like hardcore religious, but you can't tell. And I love that, that it's, that anyone can look at it and interpret it the way they want to, but that I have a very specific aim with it. It's my secret. It's like between me and God. You become comfortable with somebody and then their sense of humor starts flying out, right? So it's the same thing with God. He makes jokes, like God, <laughs> God makes jokes. And I, I don't know, I need to think about like, I, I need to think about that.